Egan Visual recommends viewing the VersaPro installation module to better understand the steps detailed in this video. This black chalkboard will be refinished with VersaPro. The old chalkboard surface should be sanded with a fine grit sandpaper to remove contaminants and ensure excellent adhesion. Remove any residual dust with a lint-free cloth. All black, white, or green boards require primer. This is applied after taping the frame to ensure a clean job. Egan Visual recommends primer Bullseye 123 or its equivalent. Primer is applied with a brush to the edges of the chalkboard for greatest coverage and accuracy. Use a standard pile roller to apply primer over the entire surface. Allow the primer to dry completely before proceeding with a final sanding. This will remove any lint or texture that may have appeared. We recommend running your hand over the surface to feel for any bumps or ridges. It is important to measure carefully and check for square. Old chalkboard frames have had years of heavy use and may not be square. Carefully check for both horizontal and vertical square. Using a T-square, our installers are working from the factory prepared edges to carefully match the shape of the final VersaPro material to the existing chalkboard. Using a suitable straight edge, the installers cut the material. Please note that for this installation, 3 8 of an inch trim will finish the job, so the material will be cut 1 8 of an inch smaller on both height and width. The VersaPro material is substantial and Egan suggests two passes with a sharp knife to make any required trims. Position painter tape around the installation area to assist with properly locating the material on the chalkboard. With the 1 8 of an inch play, it's easy to provide a comfortable fit. Now that the material is firmly held in the correct position, fold back 6 to 8 inches of backing liner to reveal the adhesive. The backer fold will create a safety ridge that will hold the adhesive away from the surface until the squeegee presses it down intentionally. Using the plastic squeegee, the leading edge is adhered. Take caution to prevent any air pockets from forming. Chase out the air towards the release liner, taking care to ensure no bubbles are created. In this reverse view, we can see the backer being pulled away and the action of the smoother as it sweeps towards the backer. As the squeegee sweeps, you will feel the backer folding flat. This method will permit any air pockets to escape an unintended adhesive touchdown. Working together, the installers progress with the installation, revealing a few inches of adhesive at a time, checking level and fit constantly while chasing the air out the leading edge. Discard the liner when you reach the last 24 inches or so. As they reach the end, the installer lightly holds the free edge of the VersaPro away from the installation surface until he is ready to adhere it. The material is now in place and will benefit from another firm pass of the squeegee to ensure good adhesion and the removal of any bubbles. Finally, cut the trim to fit the top and bottom edges first. Later, cut the side trim and check corner fit. Clean up with glass cleaner or isopropyl alcohol. The resurfacing upgrade of this old chalkboard into a leading edge presentation surface is complete.